last class we were discussing about i just i told you and i have given you information about installation of pega and what will happen how to start the server and all see whenever there is any issue getting the server up i told you one workaround so go to prpc folder and delete kafka data folder okay any time you have an issue with login to pega and login screen is not coming server is not coming up or errors are coming just do that work around it will it will be 100% working fine okay if still there just reach out to me don't uninstall it we were discussing about the application and types of applications as a best practices so any time if you are working on any technology not only pega maybe technology or to salesforce pega anything java dot net there are certain best practices that a developer must be following so even the architecture wise also not only the technology wise architecture wise also see whenever you wanted to create or build a new application for your business so you need to have a strong foundation and robust architecture should be there which means that the application that you set up today you should have a proper i mean like not 100% but some future forecast about about its extendability how do you expand your business in future little bit of forecasting is required to have a strong foundation to be built today today if you want to come up with a strong foundation you need to think about at least some future okay today i am going to construct only one stair building but i should have to have my foundation stronger to support at least five stair building if i get for permission in future right i should not have to demolish everything and redesign from the beginning correct so this is what whenever you are creating your application come up with a strong foundation that your application should support uh, should be easy to extend in future should be easy to extend in future means in what aspects let me tell you look at here see the functional components that you create today maybe those functional components you should be able to reuse in future when you expand your business you are expanding your business for a new expansion of setting up a new branch you should not do everything from the scratch okay what you have you had already set up during the first branch main branch creation you should be able to reuse the same process at the second branch so that it will be easy suppose if you are struggling if you are struggled one year to set up a main branch so new business brand new you started brand new started you set up you have certain rules and regulations certain process is being defined but it has took almost one year to revise the entire process as per the circumstances around you around that uh, let's say restaurant around the restaurant and you had come up with a best setup so that your sales are your sales is going on it's pretty good second branch when you set up in some other place are you going to struggle the same way and you struggle for one year to come up with a streamlined process no you will not struggle for one year maybe one month or two months that's it you will have a pretty good new branch is being set up what's the reason you are be, you are able to do it within two months previously you were you, you were doing the same in uh, one year Thank you. already the process which is defined the steps that you have taken at branch 1 you have implemented the same at branch 2 without recreating from the beginning yes or no same thing in a business application also whenever you try you create some some components business components it should be reusable in future if you are extending your business you are extending your business in future it should be reusable you should not be doing again everything from the scratch that's not the best way so that's how you need to come up with a set if you want to achieve this type of design it is not only reusability but also cost effective see you are reusing means what today you created one product from one component from the scratch it has taken 4 days one resource you have hired 4 days means you have paid 1000 dollars tomorrow you are re reusing means this 4 days time is been saved this 1000 dollars have become only 1 dollar reusing only no it will take 5 minutes to reuse so it's cost effective anyhow and 
your business development also faster or not? Tomorrow you are not creating, you are reusing. Previously you have taken four days, now you are taking only five minutes. Faster pace of development. You can easily get into the market. Okay, these are all advantages. If you come up with a strong foundation to achieve reusability and to, uh, to achieve reusability, what will happen is it is easy to extend, easy to maintain, easy to manage and maintain and cost effective all that. So to come up with the, this type of functional architecture for your application, you should have minimum two applications created. How many minimum? Two applications. This is the main point that we were discussing about in the last class. This is a repetition of last class. What are the two types of applications that we are going to deal with when we are going to come up creating new application? First one, framework application. Second one, implementation application. Okay, framework. By the name itself, it says framework. Framework means template. Generally, framework means what? Template. See, you wanted to uh, generally a person who is a salesperson of uh, making some Ganesh idols. He wanted to come up creating a new Ganesh idol. For the first idol to get, he will be making that structure. No, he will be designing the structure. That structure designing is taking 10 days time. And finally, he is able to get one good idol. 11 days he has taken to get one idol. Second idol. Second idol, how, how many days he will take? Just one hour, that's it. But why? Because he already has a template for the same. Template design, let, let it take some time, no problem. First two time, you had come up with one output. Second time, you will reuse the same template now. So that's what a common one. That's what a common one, common uh, component. So in a business, you will have n number of different functional components 100 components i have overall i identified how many 100 out of these 100 you should start segregating which components are common functional components that can be reused at different lobs of my business lob means line of business lob means life insurance is one line of business Health insurance is one line of business. Auto insurance, home insurance is another lines of businesses. For different lines of business, what are the common components among these 100? You just make it side. Common components into one group. Specific components into specific LOBs. LOB1 components, take it separately. LOB2 components, take it separately. LOB3 components, take it separately. Like this. Common components and all you place under one roof, under one roof called as framework application. So framework application you create and in the framework application, you place common functional components that can be, those can be reused across different implementations, different implementations. Understand clear, everyone clear with this point online students? All of you are clear with this point? See, it's not only technology, practical navigations. You should also understand the business. That's very, very important. You are strong in understanding the business. You can become a tech lead. Solution architect. You can become higher level. The last, the topmost developer position is solution architect. You want to be a good solution architect. You want to be a good engineer, construction engineer. Where you, you have to be strong at? You have to be strong at. You want to become a civil engineer, good construction engineer. What you have to be strong at? You have to be strong at planning and design and also understanding the geographical circumstances. Okay. So, is it nearby any lake? Okay. I cannot build a big house. Okay. I cannot go in depth for the foundation because nearby lake is there, water will come. Okay. So you should be strong at thinking of design, planning and design and also circumstances there. Okay. Is it at a hill place? Is it nearby a, any water lake place or something like this? Is it near railway station? Then construction should change accordingly. 
so that's where you will become number one in the construction engineer yes or no it's not simply everyone will go and construct why someone is super and someone is medium based on the skill level of understanding the circumstance so you want to be a good software engineer you want to be a good developer not only development aspects but also the business aspects understand the business first of all business you are pretty much clear at you can be a good developer you understand business requirement you know only technology 75 percentage at the end of the day you can implement it somehow you did not understand business requirement you are technically stronger technically strong you don't know business requirement you did not understand will you be able to implement it will not be able to implement it no so that's what so both are important 50 percent business 50 percent development become so a developer should become a businessman plus developer then number one output will come okay so try to understand the business functional requirements much better and think about the future aspects of the business then come up with a good solution good design so framework application contains common functional components then what about implementation application implementation application contains specific functional components implementation application contains specific functional components look at here i am going to draw one diagram to tell you the design the relation between framework and implementation how this is going to be. i'll take pain look at here see whenever i want to create a new application whenever i want to create new application there is a process in pega to create new application i'll show you that design and all no worries okay let's imagine one client name tell me any business client name one business name insurance related business you tell Mark. me uh we are done with lic and all something which is not known much whatever that you are i see i see okay humana i'll take the font size before so humana humana is an insurance actually it is only life insurance i think so tell me some diversifying insurance company neva bupa what is that atna atena neva bupa signa you are telling viva insurance neva bupa l i I'm writing it in the chat. Okay, type it. Neva book. Neva book. Okay, I'll take only Neva out of it. Okay, Neva Insurance Group. This I'm considering as a framework. This I'm considering as a framework application. Framework application. Okay, understand? So I will create my framework application like this. This is okay. Okay, it's better what I'll do is. I'll do like this. I'll do like this. Okay. Here I will place it. Okay. I need space. This is Neva Insurance Group. This I'm going to consider as a created as a framework application. At the time of creating application, at the time of creating application in Pega, you will have one option to choose whether it is framework or implementation. You'll be getting one option. I will show you that option. No worries. Okay. Here I am creating framework. Okay. Done. I created image. Now I want to create implementation. Implementation application that I want to create, it has to be intact, contact with framework. Means you have to touch both of these. Implementation application should be created on top of framework application. On top of framework application. Implementation one. Implementation one. This is, let's say, for example, auto insurance. Auto insurance. This is implementation one implementation application one implementation one if i want to create one more implementation on top of this framework implementations will come side by side that is a practice all the time okay understand clear everyone so auto this is let's say health insurance health insurance they are into health insurance also let's say for example then this is going to be health insurance and here implementation app 2 <clears throat> implementation app 2 implementations will always all the implementations those belong to one specific framework will come side by side all the frameworks will be there below below the implementation means framework is a foundation 
on top of it you start constructing implementations understand clear everyone framework application contains what type of functionalities common functionalities of entire business no? of entire see this is called our business related framework our business framework okay this is stakeholders business whoever is stakeholder their business this is understand clear stakeholder means niva is a stakeholder here no nivas related business framework and it contains what common functional functions okay common functional components hold up okay then what about this one this one these are all implementations no implementation application applications contains what's happening contains specific functional specific functional components okay so a functional component in pega is said to be rule i will tell you that pega rules process commander every component is one rule okay okay up to this everyone clear while we are creating we are going to create our implementation connecting to framework okay i'll tell you more about this one second next let's come to pega platform what is that pega rules process commander software you have installed after you install you will log in to administrator at the rate pega.com password is install password is install this is the user id and password which we have used a default one along with software it will be coming okay when you log into prpc you will see one application being loaded what is the name of the application with default credentials pega platform what is the application name pega platform when we log in by using default credentials pega platform is loaded see let's go back to our discussion of application application contains functional components functional components will be there inside application that's what we discussed you no know, on day 1 class meer follow outnara meek ardham avutunda mee anakala ide first class ami first class maybe you'll not be able to 100% understand for those it is the first class today you may not be able to understand it 100% this relations and all follow the practical for today watch friday's video and then you will be able to understand that's the way you need to follow for the students who are attending today as a first session it's it's common that you will not be able to understand today's class i mean like up to theory you will not be able to understand practical anyone navigation so okay but watch friday's video and then again watch today's session you will be able to 100% understand this is related to friday's class clear make sense okay now look at here uh, it might be confusing uh, and all for you for the students who are joining today as a first session it may be confusion how many of you are there today as a first session respond on the chatting video just mention me m e me okay listen to me when you log into pega using default credentials pega platform application loaded okay pega platform application loaded chara few people are there for you my suggestion is not understanding this session is pretty common because it is related to the previous class friday session video request from the admins from which you got the message and all watch that video today at any cost and then watch today's video you will be able to understand okay clear the point clear everyone respond again whoever has responded me me respond now see here one more point we will discuss let's go back to demo class demo class we will discussing i said one point pega platform contains ready made functional components did we discuss about this point ready made cloth showroom normal cloth showroom example i told you ready made functional components means what already some functional components are available inside pega platform pega platform you are installing no some functional components are ready made available 
I will show you one functional component which we have discussed. Send email notification is a functional component ready made available within Pega Plan. See, already functional components are there inside Pega, Pega BRPC software, correct? Which means this functional components should be available inside one application. No. See, let's try to relate whatever we have discussed. Application contains functional components. Pega, Pega software, when you install, you are getting some functional components, ready made functional components. That means Pega platform, ready made functional components should be there inside some application or not. Yes or no? Online students, yes or no? Yes, correct. Now, the ready made functional components of Pega software are already available, created and available in a predefined application. What is the name of the application? Pega Plan. Name of the application is Pega Plan. You purchase Pega software. Anyhow, here you are not purchasing home version. You are generally client perspective. A stakeholder is purchasing Pega software. He installed it. He will be getting Pega platform application for sure. This Pega platform application contains ready made functions. He will get one default login administrator at pega.com and login. He will get into Pega platform application. So many predefined functional components are available. Okay. What is the purpose of this predefined functional components? Any one of you will you be able to answer this? What is the purpose? Pega is providing some ready made functional components are predefined. Predefined or ready made, both are same. Yes, go ahead. Reusability. Reusability. You are purchasing Pega software. On top of using Pega software, you are creating your business application, your business framework, your business implementations you are creating. In your business framework, if you want to create one functional components to send email notification, should you create? No. Already it is there ready made available now. Use the ready made available functional components. Understand clear? If you want to make use of some ready made functional components, which is meant for reusability, then okay let me tell you this way otherwise see pega platform is an application contains reusable common functional components that you can use into any of your businesses yes or no then can i say pega platform is also one framework application pega platform application provided by this software provided within this software can i say that is also one framework that framework contains some common features can be used in any business. See here, look at here. Your diagram will little bit change like this. Now, when you create your framework application, you have to create on top of Pega platform. Pega platform contains common functional components can be used across any business across any business across any business understand clear everyone this point everyone clear any business so enterprise level any business means enterprise so this is also framework no this is called as enterprise business framework what is it called as enterprise business framework see this is one business related my business is insurance insurance related framework but functional components that are available in an enterprise business framework you can use it in insurance framework you can use it in banking framework send email insurance you purchase you will get one email retail you purchase a product you will get one email you purchase one you take one loan you will get one email that is common enterprise business framework. This point, everyone clear? Everyone up there. Are you clear? So, Pega platform is what? Enterprise business. So, whenever we create our own framework application, that should be created on top of Pega platform. Our framework, business framework, should be created on top of Pega platform. On top of our frame, business framework, we will create our implementations. One or more. Here we are creating only one. Everyone clear? 
see this relation connection is there no this is generally i will tell you once again this is called inheritance relation what is this called as generally in a programming perspective inherit inherit means succession succession means parent child child is inherited from parent understand everyone clear child can utilize the property of parent generally you are son or daughter of your parents can you utilize the property of your parent or uh, your parents yes right that's the same concept in technology but i have i am showing you diagram in a stack structure stack it's like a stack like which one will become parent which one will, be, will become child can you tell me enterprise framework is parent or child parent parent our insurance group is parent or child parent. child to enterprise but parent to implement implement so for our implementation is child child of neva insurance that is again child of enterprise business so insurance is grand child for this child can utilize means grand child obviously can utilize i will come to this inheritance point later but just as a point to put it in your mind i have just mentioned that relation without relation can i utilize the property of other people i will go to other person and ask them give me 1 lakh will they give me my parents will give me because there is a relation two applications are connected to each other by a relation then only it can access otherwise it cannot access two separate applications are there can they access functional components from each other i will ask this question tell me can implementation 1 access the functional components of implementation 2 no these are not related by inheritance these are just side by side siblings siblings you don't have any right to ask the property of your brother or sister you don't have any right legally right yes or no because you are siblings no you are siblings but you have all the rights to request money from your parents because you are a child understand here uh, how it works in real life same way technology is designed everyone clear so we are going to learn how to create a new framework application on top of pega platform once this is successfully done we will see implementation creation but implementation we create on top of framework implementation on top of our framework our framework on top of pega framework pega framework name is pega platform understand clear everyone online students everyone clear what are we going to learn practically pega platform should we create should we create pega platform it's no. already there on top connecting to it we will create our business framework connecting to our business framework we will create our implementations okay look at here one additional point i will tell you that is if you want to know the details of any component details of any component you need to go to the option called definition what is the option definition. define yourself i say define yourself means tell about your details no you will say what is your name what is it, what is your education background you will say what is your work employment background where are you from these all details define yourself means you will tell your details if you want to know the details of any component you need to go to its definition see i logged into pega platform application no i want to know the details of pega platform application where should i go i should go to its definition i logged into pega platform by using default credentials click on pega platform and go to definition pega platform application definition meaning that what any application definition means its details go to definition okay look at here now pega platform but here you see id leave about the number i will tell you later id is pega rules id is what pega rules here i will tell you one point which is common entire pega in entire pega you all are students here correct you all have a name you all have a name yes after two or three days we will assign you one id that's called student id okay so each person will have a name plus id between name and id whenever you are in this system system means in this premises of academy 
I'm sorry, institute. When you are in the premises of institute, how will you be recognized by ID or by name? By ID. ID. So after one year, you will call us. I was a student of Arsha trainings. Could I lost my theory documents? Could you please send me again my batch number is so and so? I will ask you immediately. What is your name or what is your ID? What is your ID? Why why I won't be checking with your name? So many students can be there in the same batch with same name. In a system, you will have every component name and ID. Name is description, ID is unique. Which one is important for the system? ID only important. So whenever you come across Pega platform, you may see Pega rules also. Pega platform is a display name, looking good, sounding good. Pega rules is actual name, ID. Understand? Everyone clear? Description can be different from ID. ID is a unique which you cannot change, which should not have spaces in between. Spaces, can there be spaces between ID? Your name can have spaces. First name, space, last name. Space surname. But your ID should not have any space. ID should be everything connected. ST001. That's it. Understand clear? So, anyhow, name and ID will be Pega platform. Name is Pega rules. One more point, small points I will cover and then we will go to practical. Login ID. I am using one login ID to log into system. In the terminology of Pega, in the terminology of Pega, the diagram I will share you. This is the diagram, no? Neva app structure. This is what we are going to achieve today and tomorrow. This structure we will achieve. Health insurance will not create. The remaining three we will achieve. Okay, this one will achieve. Okay, look at here now. Look at here now. Login ID, right? Operator ID is equal to login ID which we use which we use to log in to Pega, to log into Pega platform to access its applications, to access its Pega software you have. You want to log into Pega software. You, are, you need one login ID, no? The terminology of login ID in Pega is different. What do you call it? Operator ID. Operator ID is the login ID which we use to log into PRVC. Understand clear, everyone? Online students, are you clear? What about operator means the person who log into Pega? That's it. Who log into Pega is called an operator. I'm an operator. I'll have an ID to log into here. Generally, operator is called a user. Generally. One more terminology I want to give you. I am telling you since beginning, predefined. What did you understand from this predefined? Or I told you ready made. Ready made. Predefined functionalities are ready made functionalities are built in. You can also say, what did you understand from this term? What, what, what do you mean by this? Predefined or ready made or built in means what? Already existing in the system. You you take one system, it is already there in the system. Understand? Now I purchased my laptop. Within laptop, I got automatically Windows. There's a predefined software provided. I want to install one more, I can install. The terminology for this in Pega is specific, that is OOTB. If I say OOTB, which means predefined, which means predefined. Abbreviation is out of the box. What is the abbreviation? Anytime if I use the terminology, out of the box functional component, what does it mean? Already that is there in the system. OOTB feature means it is provided along with Pega software. Understand clear everyone? I'll tell you why it is OOTB later. Okay. But the terminology I'm just giving. Now we are going to jump on to the practical. We are going to learn the practical navigation and options about how to create a new application. That only framework we can finish today. Implementation we do tomorrow. But before we start creating application, we need to learn some of the parameters which are related to application. Application and related 
options are you call parameters related parameters related parameters first you are creating one application no application should have a name or not you are creating some component you name it or not without name is it possible to create application name you also call it an id okay next second one application name and id name and id means name is display purpose id is actual system will recognize by id you created one application in order to log into the that application you need a id no you need to create come up creating one new id no so operator id comma password when you create a new application all this is required no application name you should provide operator id what you want to create you should mention third one you don't know this i will tell you organization name what is that generally you tell me in your real life in our real life day to day life what do you mean by organization in our real life day to day life what do you mean by organization organization means company name company name one company one business setup is organization see tell me some organization names that you know tata reliance industries see tata has so many businesses tell me some tata businesses tata steel tata motors tata, tata insurance tata retail tata software it see all these belongs to tata group of industries right tata group only tata group is top most for all this the top most business entity is said to be organization then what about tata steel tata auto tata all these these are divisions i'll tell you organization structure later but organization is a point you need to understand every application should belong to some organization so while you create application you need to provide organization name also you need to provide organization it's or which organization it belongs to okay uh, application name operator id organization that's it type of the application you should choose what application type what is application type you also call it as structure you also call it as whether it is framework or implementation you have to choose framework or see whether it is framework or implementation application contains functionalities but how do you make use of it is a reusable one or a specific business process that's what will be decided by framework or implementation understand clear everyone these are the four important parameters that we are going to come across while we create new application a new application i'm sorry a new application can be created by using a wizard provided by pega by using a wizard that is application wizard name also new application wizard. what is a wizard name new application wizard. a new application can be created in pega by using this understand clear everyone this is what we are going to do practically while doing you need to remember this organization i'll take a separate session for organization i'll take i'll be taking separate session i'll be creating one word document as a practical document for you yours is 8 am batch no? morning 8 am 6 14 no? batch number 6 14 i already have a folder for you pega class 8 am john 20 jan 292024 this is how i'll maintain the name of the document instead of the topic name topic name means one day you may have two two to three topics sometimes it will be difficult so if you are missing the class also it is easy to identify by the date if i mention topic name it will not be in a sorted order for you it will be difficult actually okay so we'll go by always date it is easy for us also to access so what you need to do is at the time of practice while i am practically doing here you need not to do any practical parallelly you don't do just see here try to understand after the session is completed follow the practical document and try to do it okay but now you all should take your notes 
and write down the business requirement from day one to till day end we will come up with classroom business requirements homework assignment business requirement at the end of the day you open that small notebook you should have all business requirements topic name business requirement topic name business requirement topic name business requirement practical you don't have to write anything navigations and all don't try to write only requirement part you have to note down in your notes apart from it while the class is going on if you find any one point is important you can write it everything you don't need to write because i am sharing you theory documents and all no need to write okay write down everyone working with pega tool hyphen creating a new framework application creating a this is a heading you will put a heading of topic name and in that you will write down the requirement see you might be wondering if i am going to write the requirement in the word document why should you write i will not write the requirements in the word doc for today tomorrow i may be writing regularly i will not write requirements at all only i will show you practical practical will be document working with pega tool creating a new framework application write down requirement what is that she told niva right niva insurance okay write down everyone if you don't have a notes type it in the phone or laptop online students if you don't have a notebook for create one document in your desktop or document and write down every day in that document down any time if you open that document from day one to till the till the date you should have all the requirements and headings topic names okay okay write down create a new framework application create a new framework application for the business in double quotes you can niva insurance group niva insurance group for now that's the only thing for the business what niva insurance okay this is what in the notepad whatever i have given i have added that here now every day i will not add like this but it's to make a better start i have given that so, understand clear everyone online students are you clear so you don't have to write anything further you don't have to write only this requirement point remaining you don't have to write okay you just see here that's it so done you will just look at here we have 15 minutes i'll take 10 minutes to finish it okay so new application wizard right so you you have freshly installed pega okay and you want to log into pega you don't have any login id now then how do you log in default credentials use default credentials to log into pega what are the default credentials administrator at the rate pega.com password install all lower case no that you need to remember anyhow if you give wrong password it will not allow administrator at the rate pega.com password install i'm going to log in now so it will take me to which application pega platform that is pega rules pega platform you say you say pega rules anything is okay so once you log in here you need to access a wizard called as new application that is available in the application menu so click on application menu thereafter choose new application then it opens new application wizard then it opens what new application wizard will be able to click on pega platform and then choose new application definition you will see if you want to know the details of currently logged in application i am going to new application everyone following right new application option i have chosen okay i am here you will not see these many things you will see only one option build from scratch i created so many applications that's why i am seeing i will tell you build from scratch means you are trying to create your application on top of pega platform from the scratch so click on build from scratch i will write down one more point here build from scratch means create my application 
on top of pega platform application that is the meaning i am telling you the meaning which is hidden inter internally understand clear everyone build from scratch you are clicking means what actually instead of build from scratch more meaningfully if they have given platform developers have given pega platform it have been pega platform means what creating from the scratch on top of pega platform so your application will be created on top of pega platform application so your application will be created your application gets created on top of pega platform this is what diagrammatically see pega platform is there your application is now getting created on top of pega platform by choosing build from scratch that's what we are trying to achieve everyone clear so far so i am going to click on build from scratch continue now look at here now all of you with my with the software whatever i am using you have same click on team cosmos traditional why i am not going with cosmos react that has so many issues because that's the latest one they provided seven, from 7 8.7 only so many ui issues are there you will get disturbed while learning anyhow if you join in real time project you will see mostly traditional so 90% you see click on traditional i will tell you this point later but for now you follow it you click on this one simply click on the traditional one i am going to pick up now the next screen in the wizard will ask you hey you are trying to create an application now what is the name you want to give neva insurance group for you homework is in the same way starting from administrator create one new application hdfc insurance group okay homework assignment you can write homework assignment simply create hdfc insurance framework application just just a simple point right oh, every day you write requirement i will implement you write one more requirement as a assignment every day that will happen that that may be new requirement or enhancement also but for now you follow new it means you have two different uh, applications one classroom application one homework application you can create one more no you can create hundreds of applications practice more practice okay neva insurance group see what am i going to do now click on advanced configuration advanced advanced options i want to see see if you directly click on create application it will proceed further i don't want to proceed further i want to see advanced options see here everyone this is what the window i have got look at here now closely application structure means what is the type of application that you want to create it is asking by default it is given implementation without coming here if i would have proceeded further i would have got implementation application but i thought of creating framework you no know? so what's that i need to do now change the application structure to framework choose application structure as framework instead of fw means framework that's a shortcut i'm using what is the name of our application neva insurance group no we can come back no issues we can again and again come back here if you proceed with create without coming here if you would have proceeded you cannot come back it will be a little difficult okay look at here no problem you can change here and there if you finish it will be difficult but it will get finished after you click on create better while practicing you closely follow the document don't make any mistake because in pega there are so many times you cannot undo undo will not be possible many times only possibility is delete as a developer learner beginner forget about the delete options for next one month don't ask me anything to delete instead of that try creating from the scratch again that's it don't come back to me with the delete option see our application is neva insurance group application id i told you, you know name and id neva insu which one is important for the system this one you want to change it you can change i am not changing from neva insurance group it has taken neva insu i will keep it as it is clear everyone i am not touching that but you make an observation organization name 
pega is generating one random name random organization name which is not suitable for our business for our business let's remove it let's remove that and type our own name our own organization name we will type understand clear everyone random name it has given but that doesn't look good i will give neva i'll give what brand new organization will be created by name neva brand new organization will be created by neva coming here we touch with two options one is implementation to framework we modified organization name we removed the random and we have given neva and then save it will be back to the screen it will be back to the screen you want to cross check whether your options are there or not your options are there or not check modified options are there you are confirmed now click on create application click on create application you can cross check like that click on create application this create application once you click on it will start creating this application organization everything it may take five minutes also for you sometimes beginner your first time you are using pega five minutes it may take for me also it may take two to three minutes sometimes if it is rotating like this wait there is no other go rotating like this means what just to wait it will not fail but it will proceed further it may take sometimes two minutes three minutes five minutes also as a beginner for you just i will wait so once this session is done i will close the meeting and share you the documents in the google class okay completed see it has created application creating operator id is pending operator id is pending if i forget to create operator id what will happen i will not be able to log in now so now by default pega is allowing us to create authors operator what is that authors operator means developer operator what is that author means developer see it is also saying that select a user or enter email id for them. it is mandatory to enter email id format for now i will give i am going to create a developer operator for my application called as neva which is of type framework so developer operator framework application at the rate domain.com my business no neva dot is it mandatory to give like this no your wish you can give anything at the rate anything.com it's not mandatory this email id should exist in the real world this is just a login id in the format of email id you also follow the same click on add by mistake instead of add if you click on done or log off this will not be getting created so make sure you practice it slowly that red color message you can ignore ignore error ignore error actually red color that's a warning so ignore red color message here copy this login id and password into a notepad and save it because it is not possible for you to remember the auto generated password auto generated password is it possible for you to remember you will forget as a result you will not be able to know how to log in so better don't do that open notepad add this save on your desktop we will change this password because it is difficult to remember we will change it anyhow so click on done click on what click on done. i copied it okay i copied that details done so once you click on done it will close the wizard wizard is closed okay now we can log off here and log in back to prpc into neva fw app we will be able to log in up. okay how do you log off here at the left bottom corner you see operator icon no? there you have log off option log off so now what am i going to do once after i get the login did i click on dev fw at the rate neva.com i can remember that but password i cannot remember now i'll copy paste it what if you forget the password i will tell you later 
login. This is not installed. This is a generated password. For the first time when you try to log in, PRPC will ask you changing the password because that's a difficult password. No, change password is there. This is the reason why I asked you to copy it somewhere because every time you cannot remember. Password, new password, you can give anything of your wish. That is up to you. But I am giving rules as a password. What is that? R U L E S rules. Your wish, you can give anything. I will easily remember always rules. Our rules process commander, our passwords, I will use this. Rules. You came here, don't do anything. For now, time is not sufficient. Done, log off. For, for now, just a login process, I want to show you. Tomorrow, I will show you further details. It's taking time to load, anyhow. So, just after you do this, just to log off, okay? Just to do what? And your task for today is done. Same thing you need to do for HDFC application also. That's a homework task. You log off here, log in with administrator at the every time. Whenever you want to create a new application, blindly log into administrator account. Only. Any application you want to create, log into administrator. Today we have learned how to uh, create framework application. List of topics we have already shared every one of you. Did we or not? Course content is being shared or not? Check your WhatsApp history. Many of you are not checking WhatsApp history. We will be sharing as of now. We don't have all your email IDs. No? You're not enrolled. Some people we are sending you in WhatsApp history. Only. WhatsApp only. And also, we are we would have definitely added here. Our team would have added here course content somewhere. If not, I will ask them. But what is your batch demo demo classroom? This is a demo classroom. These are not demo classes, these are real classes only. But we are giving it for free of course. That's why I set it as demo. Okay, I will ask them. To they might have definitely shared you on your WhatsApp. Okay, please check it. Uh, today also I will ask them to share. Pega class Jan 292024. Okay, the same documents you can go here and download if you want download. Documents you can download, but not videos. Application types of applications. Okay. Next practical document I should share no? class notes and practical document and diagram class notes practical document diagram I should share you further. Six fourteen no? class notes and practical one diagram also I have attached. So that's it for now. For today you guys can wind up and we will meet tomorrow. So I will take your questions tomorrow. Note down your questions and ask me tomorrow at the early. It's better you join five minutes before. Okay. Tomorrow I will take up at the beginning of session. No problem. Diagrams I have to give you. Diagram. Neva. Neva application structure I am giving. Diagram. Now you can wind up for today. Continue tomorrow. Thank you.